Greetings, sky watchers, and welcome to the sky above us. I'm James Albury, and I'm your tour guide to the night sky. We have a popular meteor shower happening this month, and you can experience it from your own backyard. Wonder what I'm talking about? Let me show you. How many of you have gone outside at night and been surprised by the appearance of a shooting star? It's not uncommon to see at least one or two in your lifetime. But if you're an avid sky watcher and you time it just right, you can see plenty of these bright objects zipping across the sky. A shooting star is not actually a star, but it does look like one as it appears to shoot across the sky. In reality, what you're seeing is what astronomers call a meteor. A meteor is caused when a piece of space debris enters our atmosphere and produces a streak of light across the sky. The streak of light is caused by the heating of the air around the object as it enters the atmosphere. Most particles that make meteors are no larger than a pebble, and many of them are associated with comets or asteroids. A comet is a loose collection of frozen gases, ice, and dust. As they near the sun, the ice melts, liberating all the dust particles into space. These particles are distributed throughout the comet's orbit, and occasionally our planet crosses the orbit of these comets. When we do so, we can see dozens or even hundreds of meteors in a single hour. We call this a meteor shower. Since the comet orbits are well established, the timing of a meteor shower is predictable. What isn't predictable is how impressive the meteor shower will be. Most of the meteor showers I've experienced have been more like meteor sprinkles. The Lyrid meteor shower has the potential to be quite enjoyable. You just have to catch it at the right time. Here's more about it. Every April between the 16th and the 25th, Earth crosses the orbit of Comet Thatcher. Comet Thatcher visits the Sun every 415 years, and every time it visits, it dumps comet dust in its orbit. We call these meteoroids. Even though this comet has a relatively long period with respect to human lifetimes, there are occasional outbursts every 60 years called the April Lyrid Meteor Outburst. The 60-year cycles are caused by the other planets in our solar system gravitationally diverting the comet's dust trail. As a result, Earth crosses into a denser part of the meteoroid field every 60 years. The last such outburst was in 1982, where over 90 meteors were counted each hour during the peak. Unfortunately, that next outburst won't happen for another 19 years in April 2042. This year, we're only expecting around 17 meteors per hour. So, what's the best way to observe a meteor shower? Let me show you. Okay, we have our sky set up for 5 a.m. on April 22nd, facing east. Lyra the Harp is the radiant for this meteor shower. The radiant is defined as the region of the sky from where meteors in a shower are appearing to radiate. This effect is caused by the Earth flying through the dust and rocks left behind by Comet Thatcher, and since Lyra is in the direction of our travel, the meteors appear to fall away from that constellation. Because of the Earth's rotation, the best time to view the Lyrids is between midnight and sunrise. The closer to sunrise you can get, the more meteors you're likely to see. So, here are a few things you can do to enjoy the Lyrids. First, find a dark location with a clear sky. Your backyard should be sufficient, but if you want to maximize the number you can see, find a place where you can safely view the shower away from city lights. Secondly, Take a lawn chair and a blanket with you. Having a lawn chair will allow you to lay back and view the entire sky. The blanket will help keep you warm, because remember, this is April, so it still might be cold outside. Three, scan the sky back and forth. The meteors won't all appear near Lyra, but they will radiate from Lyra. Some may appear in a completely different part of the sky, but by scanning back and forth, you're more likely to see one. And fourth, make your wish list early. Some people often like to make wishes on meteors. Well, some meteors are really fast. By the time you see them, they're gone before you can get your wish ready. So, have your wishes in mind. And lastly, number five, be patient. Again, meteors tend to appear in bursts. 
Sometimes you'll see two or three within a few minutes of each other. Other times, you'll go a full 10 minutes or more without seeing anything. As my grandmother always said, patience is a virtue, and meteor showers will definitely help you develop patience. All right, my friends, head outside between April 16th and April 25th and look for meteors from the Lyrid meteor shower. The peak will be on the morning of April 22nd. Before you go, visit our website, theskyaboveus.org. From there, you can watch previous episodes, listen to the Sky Above Us podcast, get the Sky Above Us merchandise, and you can even ask me an astronomical question that I'll answer in a future episode. Meteor showers bring May flowers, particularly if you remember to keep looking up. time <sighs> stupid kick the can, kick the can down the road cash gummit <clears throat>